KX4 is go for launch. That is great news for mission control and from our crew on board Dragon. With that, we are just at T minus 30, 30 seconds, seconds to lift off of AX4. Let's go AX4. Fifteen seconds. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift For three nations, a new chapter in space takes flight. Godspeed, AX4. T plus 30 seconds into flight with the Axiom 4 crew on board Dragon headed to the International Space Station. Waiting to hear call outs from the Falcon 9 engineering team. Power and telemetry nominal. Stage one throttle. We're throttling down the nine Merlin engines. We're into the throttle bucket preparing for max Q. Max Q. Vehicle is supersonic. We should begin throttling the Merlin engines back up now. Stage one throttle up. Mission control confirming. Stage one Bravo. That throttle up and we Copy are. Copy one Bravo. Hearing our commander Peggy Whitson call out the first abort mode. Um, each of these are a specific phase where if for any reason we had an in-flight abort, uh, Dragon would, would abort to a safe location. So we're going to call out each of those milestones as we pass through them. We also just heard the call out for MVAC chill. We're going to trickle just a little bit of liquid oxygen now into the turbo pumps on board our Merlin vacuum engine on stage two in preparation for a second engine start one, which will of course be shortly after stage separation. Now at this point, we are just about 30 seconds away from four events that are gonna happen in rapid succession. The first one will be main engine cutoff or MECO, then again, followed by stage separation, ignition of that second stage engine, which we are already stage preparing one, for, um, as well as the first stage's boost back burn. With that confirmation from mission control that we are throttling the first stage engines down, we are expecting MECO at T plus two minutes and 26 seconds. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. Stage one boost back startup from back ignition. There we had confirmation of all four of those events. Incredible views on our screen here too as that boost back as that first stage boosts its way back to Earth. Stage two alpha and confirmation Copy from our two alpha. commander that we have entered the two alpha abort mode. Of course, we're getting lots of cheers from behind us here at Mission Control here in Hawthorne, California as well. And at this point, our AX4 crew is on their way to space. The view you have on your screen right now is our MVAC engine burning for that second engine first burn. Um, we're expecting that SECO here, uh, second engine cutoff, uh, which will likely be called out over the nets as SECO in just a couple of minutes. Stage one boost back shut down. Confirmation that the boost back burn on our first stage booster is now complete and the booster is heading back toward the Florida coast to attempt a landing at LZ1. At this point, stage one is actually still coasting to Apogee. We're about to deploy those grid fins um, so that we can steer the vehicle as it enters the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. And that call out from mission control means Dragon that copies, nominal trajectory. everything is right on track. T plus four minutes, everything continuing to go well, and we've got our first view of the crew. They're inside Dragon, second stage continuing to fire. Right now, second stage, just a little bit more than one G, 
there's so much propellant that even with a 220,000 pound thrust engine, it takes a while before the G-loads start to build up during the second stage flight. Meanwhile, first stage continuing to coast up to Apogee and actually now, as you can see on the bottom left of your monitors, uh, we have begun coming back down. It takes a couple of minutes to go up, a couple of minutes to come back down. And that first stage heading back to landing zone one at Cape Canaveral. Craig right. and SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Words we love to hear. Driving copies, nominal trajectory. Peggy Whitson echoing back the call up from the ground. Now our next major event coming up will be in about a minute and 10 seconds. That's gonna be the entry burn. That's where we're gonna light a single center engine on the first stage. That's gonna slow us down in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere again. We'll then have a landing burn about a minute later at T plus seven minutes and 19 seconds. Now for that one, we actually light three engines again then quickly we'll, once we've kind of jammed the brakes on, then we'll turn off two of the engines. We'll be down to just a single engine. Getting good views of the MVAC-D engine. There are a couple of cameras on the back of the second stage that give these views. And of course, the view inside the Dragon spacecraft showing the crew. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Continuing the call outs right on time. Dragon copy, nominal trajectory. Now right now, as Ronnie pointed out, the grid fins have been deployed, but they're not being used. Right before the entry burn, we'll possibly see a little bit of motion if we can pick up the first stage camera. That's just to check out. It's not until we actually get through the entry burn. Stage one entry burn startup. That we get back in the atmosphere. And now here is entry burn call out. This is gonna be about a 12 second burn. That's gonna slow the vehicle down. You can Stage watch that. Stage one entry burn shut down. There you just saw on the left-hand side of your screen that first stage entry burn shutdown. Right now on your screen, we've got great views of our second stage and take our AX4 crew to orbit. The next milestone for our first stage is going to be the landing burn, where we'll relight just the center engine, as John mentioned. Dragon, SpaceX, nominal trajectory. Again, things we love to hear. Stage one FTS. Dragon copy, nominal trajectory. Continuing to get good communication from our crew on board Dragon. Stage one transonic. Confirmation that stage one is now transonic on its way back to LZ-1, which is just about nine miles away from our liftoff location today. LZ-1, of course, is the site of the first successful landing attempt, and hopefully it will be the second time that this particular booster sticks its landing. Seeing those actuating of the grid fins that John mentioned. Stage one landing leg deploy. Stage two FTSS saved. Mm. Stage one landing confirmed. That was a picture perfect landing. That was great. Absolutely stunning. So coming up next for our crew, now that we've confirmed that booster touchdown is going to be second engine cutoff, also called out as SECO. Then the second stage will coast for a few minutes until Dragon is commanded to separate from the second stage. There's our AX4 crew awaiting that SECO call out here. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Good continued burn from our second stage engine there. Now at this point, our crew is experiencing about three Gs in the lead up to SECO-1, which of course will be their first taste of microgravity. SpaceX Dragon, Shannon. There's confirmation Copy, of, Shannon. of the Shannon abort mode. MVAC shut down. SpaceX Dragon, we have a nominal orbit insertion. 
phenomenal orbital insertion of SpaceX, and we had an incredible ride uphill, and now we'd like to set our course for the International Space Station aboard the newest member of the Dragon Fleet, our spacecraft named Grace. Grace is more than a name. It reflects the elegance with which we move through space against the backdrop of Earth. It speaks to the refinement of our mission, the harmony of science and spirit, and the unmerited favor we carry with humility. Grace reminds us that spaceflight is not just a feat of engineering, but an act of goodwill. The benefit of every human, every hair. Over to you, ship. Ten minutes into flight. What are they? Yeah. Namaskar. Mere pyare desh vasiyo. What are they? चालीस साल बाद हम वापस अंतरिक्ष में पहुंच गए हैं और कमाल की राइड थी इस समय हम साढ़े सात किलोमीटर प्रति सेकेंड की रफ्तार से पृथ्वी के चारों तरफ घूम रहे हैं और मेरे कंधे पे मेरे साथ मेरा तिरंगा है जो मुझे बता रहा है कि मैं नहीं हूं मैं आप सबके साथ हूं ये मेरी इंटरनेशनल स्पेस स्टेशन तक की जर्नी की शुरुआत नहीं है ये भारत के ह्यूमन स्पेस प्रोग्राम की शुरुआत है और मैं चाहता हूं कि आप सभी देशवासी इस यात्रा का हिस्सा बने आपका भी सीना दिल से चौड़ा होना चाहिए आप भी उतना ही एक्साइटमेंट दिखाइए आइए हम सब मिलकर भारत के इस ह्यूमन स्पेस प्रोग्राम की जर्नी की शुरुआत करें धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत Drogie Polki i Polacy, dziś robimy ogromny krok w stronę przyszłości technologicznej Polski. Polski opartej na nauce, wiedzy i wizji. Niech ta misja będzie początkiem epoki, w której nasza odwaga i nieustępliwość kształtują nowoczesną Polskę. Dla nas i dla przyszłych pokoleń. Kosmos zawsze jednoczył ludzi. Zabieram dziś w ziemi cząstkę każdego z Was, Waszej siły, Waszej nadziei, Waszego zaufania. W kosmosie nie jestem sam. Reprezentuję nas wszystkich. Z całego serca dziękuję Wam za zaufanie. Kosmos dla wszystkich. Space for everyone. And with that, over to you, Tibo. Thank you, Sław. Tysięcy milionów Magiary Met, my dajk. Támogatása a olyan, mint a szürke hamolat nyugvó parázs. Belül csendben ízik, de ha fát dobnak rá, egy kint lángol. Hálás és büszke vagyok, hogy a hazánkat képviseltem. Családomnak és barátaimnak köszönöm, hogy ti vagytok a legerősebb támaszaim. A ti hangotok hangosabb, mint a rakétánk, erőtök nagyobb, mint a gravitáció. A világűr mindenkié, a föld pedig egyetlen. Mi a bolygónk négy különböző pontjáról indultunk, de társakként, barátokként érkeztünk ide. A mi születésünk a, mi születésünk a tiétek is. Köszönöm mindenkinek, szerte a világon, akik hozzájövöttek ez a gyönyörű naphoz. Egynek minden nehéz, soknak semmi sem lehetetlen. Go ex for! And we are getting some views inside of the newly named capsule uh, that the crew Dragon, announced today. On behalf of the entire SpaceX launch team, thank you. It's been a privilege to work with you so far, and we're excited for you to have a safe flight and a safe return home. Good things come to those who wait. Godspeed to the maiden crew of Grace. And we thank you all as well. And so with today's successful launch of Axiom 4, the teams at NASA's Johnson Space Center will continue to monitor Dragon's flight to the International Space Station over the next 28 and a half hours. NASA's role in this journey really kicks in at a period called Integrated Operations, which begins during the spacecraft's approach to the space station and continues during the crew's stay aboard the orbiting laboratory, where they will conduct science, education, and commercial activities, and will conclude once the space craft exits the vicinity of the International Space Station.
During integrated operations, the NASA, SpaceX, and Axiom space teams are all working in lockstep. The teams here are preparing for a docking of Axiom 4 to the space station at 7 a.m. Eastern on Thursday morning and will continue to monitor the approach until then. But for now, that will be it for us here in Mission Control Houston. But we'll be back with you at 5 a.m. Eastern for docking, hatch opening, and welcome coverage. So with that, back over to you, Hawthorne. Thanks so much, Sandra. Over the next 28 and a half hours, the Dragon spacecraft Grace will execute a series of burns to gradually raise and line up the AX-4 crew for docking with the International Space Station in what we refer to as the activation and rendezvous phase of flight. In just a few minutes, the crew will change out of their spacesuits to get a little bit more comfortable for flight and will enjoy their first meal aboard the spacecraft. Over the course of their flight, they will also have a rest period that will last for about eight hours. Before they arrive at the space station, we will have three potential opportunities to chat briefly with the crew on orbit. While we're hopeful that one of these will work out, none of them are guaranteed as they're dependent both on crew schedule and ground station coverage. But if we are able to support, we'll make an announcement on our social media channels no later than 15 minutes before the event start time. In the meantime, be sure to keep tabs on this mission at axiomspace.com and you can track Dragon's flight on spacex.com slash launches. And even if we aren't able to talk live with the crew, we will continue to provide updates on the mission across our social media channels. And then as Dragon and the AX4 crew approach the International Space Station tomorrow, June 26th, we will pick back up with our live joint coverage of the AX4 crew's docking to the station with NASA. Please keep an eye on Axiom Space and SpaceX social channels for updates, as there will be plenty of incredible moments to share with you over the next two weeks. From all of us at Axiom Space, thank you, SpaceX. Thank you, NASA, for making today possible. Thank you to ISRO and ESA and Hunor for pursuing this endeavor with us. What started with joy now continues on with grace. And we will see you very soon. <laughs>